Hi, this is Cindy from BOSI Creative Living, and I've got a video here of my next project, and that is a sign, another sign, which I collect to do. Uh, this one is on an old barn board that my dad brought back from Wisconsin. The sign is going to say, friends and family are welcome here. So I'll show you, I'll keep you along on the progress here. This board came off of my uncle's barn, and they had a problem that can happen to anybody really. Their house and barn, their, it was like a restored farmhouse and big barn. You just don't see many of those anymore, very old. And they had to sell to the county because it was eminent domain. A big factory was coming in called Foxconn, which we all want more jobs, but it's a shame when they make these families leave their homes that they thought they'd be there for the end of their lives, you know. That's thought it was a lifetime place to live. They restored this farmhouse. It was just beautiful. And she had collected a lot of antiques. It was all very authentic. And they were forced to move. Luckily, they got another farm that's similar. Maybe it'll be nicer for them. I hope they like it. But this barn wood was a piece of the memory of their farm. And... Let me show that to you. And there is the board. And this is just how it came to me. And I'm going to paint on this, which it's a pretty rough surface. So it could be a little tricky, especially trying to transfer the pattern on. But I'll see what I can do. So here is my paper pattern. I laid this out on my computer on my graphic software. And I have a cat <laughs> photo bombing us again. Oh, hero, you always want attention. <laughs> so I will trim these down, tape them together, and then try to see how well the carbon paper works that I have there. I have a piece of barbed wire there, too. I'm not sure what I'm doing with yet. <laughs> I have Lily at my feet wondering what's going on. <laughs> She's missing out on excitement. Must be. I'll just turn these down. I use Corel Draw software, I just have an older version. But it allows me to print tiled pages. So any software program that lets you do that works for this type of thing. Lines did turn out to be pretty tough to see. So I am going over them, referring to my pattern. I can see enough of them to fill in the blanks here. I was able to make out most of this. Bottom line, but I really have a hard time seeing the top part. So I'm going to try something else. I've got my oil pastels here. I just don't have any chalk pastel. But this should work. I will scribble on the back around the areas where the outline needs to be. I'll show you. I can already see where I was drawing, so I know where my lines need to be. So you just simply color over your lines, unlike trying to color inside the lines. So just get those colored in and then you'll flip it over and trace it. Yeah, I'd like to tell you how well that oil pastel worked, trace, but <laughs> it didn't work. No. I could barely see that either. I checked it before I got one letter done trying to trace it. 
So I'm back to the carbon paper and I'm just doing it extra hard to get it extra dark lines. And that's working. So back to plan A. Yeah, this is not going as easy as it could. This one was so hard to see that I cut out the shape of the letter. So I can trace it like that, like a stencil. Which is another way you could do this. Yeah, do whatever works for you. All right, I think I got this. Maybe I didn't go as smooth as it could have, but it's gonna work. Well, that's life, isn't it? It doesn't always go according to plan. So sometimes when you're doing your arts and crafts, you might run into difficulties, but persevere, carry on. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Hey, kitty girl, who came out and helped? You match the stove and the carbon paper. That little girl. You're eyeing up that doggy. And here's some progress I made. I wanted to try a couple out last night just to be sure this was going to work. And the brush I'm using this time is, it's about 3 eighths of an inch wide. Just a flat, fairly stiff bristle. It's not too stiff, but it's enough I can get down in the cracks easy. Uh, my last project I used a long tapered brush with very long bristles to flow it onto a saw I was painting. But this project I can't flow the paint on, so I'm using the paint at full strength. I'm not diluting it this time. It's just some hobby paint, acrylic paint. So this is going to work. So I will show you a little bit as I paint this. I used a straight edge to make sure the tops and bottoms of my letters lined up here. Since I couldn't trust my lines totally, I they were hard to transfer. Yeah, this brush works nice. You can reach into the cracks a little so that you get enough paint on it to make it easy to read.
did a boo boo. I went a little too far there. Let's go get cutest. Just a wet Q-tip a little bit, wet end and then a dry end and soak up some of that pop smuggler. Yeah, when you're doing crafts, you might have a few fails. Not that quick, you can usually save your project. <laughs> There's how it's looking so far. I still need to get the bottom of that end. There. I can just see myself getting it hung up on the wall and going, oh shoot. <laughs> All right, I'll just continue on. Here we go. Now some of the letters are going to overlap. I'm going to go ahead and just paint that till they touch for now and I'll find some paint that's close to this color and I think I'll do the outline around the lower letters here, the L there. And the H goes into the A there a little bit. That kind of gives a neat effect that'll make it stand out. Even though the brush is wide, you can just Use it sideways for the narrower parts. And you can kind of use it as a stippling type of brush where you just push it into the grooves and it's a rough surface like this. I don't think I mentioned I'm using a charcoal white pencil that I use to make these lines with and it will it's going to erase really easy off of there when I'm done any spots I don't want I can erase I'll have to do some research and see if there's a free program out there for people to use to design stuff and print it out like this if anybody knows of something, please comment and share it. I really want to know. My version of Corel Draw is kind of old. It was from an old job that I did a lot of work at home, so I still have that on my computer.
done. <laughs> Basically pushing the paint into the grain of this. You don't I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I don't want it to be dripping off. And I did not thin the paint down. So kind of a creamy consistency. Different brush for this one, and I found a barn red. <laughs> That's exactly what I need. Yeah, it's what it's called, barn red. That's the color they use on their barn. Now I'm just kind of have to judge where to put this. bit of a line. All right, there's just little lines there to set those letters off. Thanks again for watching me in another project. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, a, lo a little more challenging than some because of the rough surface, but I think it turned out just fine. Um, behind me, I have a project I did, which I didn't catch a video on, so I just started doing it for the moment. Well, I do things that way a lot. Um, I painted this mirror frame and added hooks to it so I could have hooks by my door here. It's right behind my front door. And I did it where it's a lighter color at the top and it gets darker down at the bottom there. <laughs> and I started out, it was just a dull, dull drab olive green color. And I started out by spray painting it from the back side so that I could get into all the nooks and crannies in there. And then I used my just acrylic craft paint again and dabbled on a lot. I did use some, but I mostly covered it up, of a metallic coppery paint and did some verdigris type of finish on that. Some of that stayed on there, but not a lot because I wanted to get more of the turquoise color that just wasn't turning out to be quite the color. So that was kind of a cool project though. I was really happy how that turned out. So again, thanks for joining me and keep in touch. Give me comments, likes, let me know how you like this type of video and subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications of when there's something new here. Thanks for joining me. Bye.